Hello community, for those who don't know me, Olian Dasi on small, I release content about tech in general, mainly cloud, software development, and sometimes career optimization. So today we are going to talk about how you could quickly build a backend API uh, by using Strapi. What is Strapi? Strapi is a JavaScript headless CMS used to create backend API with the content management in place. So why the headless CMS part is even important? It is because Strapi doesn't give you a front-end part by using this tool. It doesn't mean there is no front-end in it. There is a front-end but for the Swagger API generation page, uh, I mean the UI in which you can test your API endpoint by just clicking giving some information have the data returned by the server you also have an administration panel in which you can manage your content so this is the content management um, side but you don't have any front end generated for your application after you have created your backend application with strapi you are surely going to create the related front end application and link both system by using requests but now why should you use strapi I prefer to point it out this is not a sponsored video so it's just my own experience because i like strapi and i have built some application before by using it so uh, here are some reasons why you should use strapi to build your application the very first reason that i see are the feature included in it the first one is the content type builder so it allows you to create some models for your data that you are going to save later just imagine you have to create um, an application for a blogging system for sure you are going to have the articles model or the article stable in your database so you can create it dynamically by using strapi administration console and provide the field that you need for your models and even build some relationship between your data models and later when you save the data they are going to be linked up like we used to do by using um, SQL then later you can just query your data by using the SDK or the API that they provide to do so to have a very interesting query language that you could use in the backend to fetch your data so uh, one of the second feature that I like the most in Strapi is the major library meaning you can even save files within your model and for sure this is even more extensible than what you can think of because the major library doesn't only allow you to save data within strapi but you can use a plugin to save your data elsewhere it could be by using s3 for example if you have an AWS account another interesting feature included in strapi is the content management after all your information have been saved in strapi you could just use the administration panel to manage everything you can even create your data within the administration panel perform some uh, modification, delete your data, and still continue to create more data models for your application. But you know, we can't build an application without thinking about the security part. So within Strapi, you have the possibility to perform authentication, authorization dynamically. So but I mean, you can create the roles for uh, different users within your system and allows them to access some specific endpoint for your model with ease. All of this being done dynamically, so you don't have to uh, i don't know change your source code if you want to change the access to a specific api for some of, of your users you can simply come in the administration panel you click on a few uh, check boxes and for sure boom your api are going to be protected against that users or against uh, these categories of users and the last but not the least there is internationalization don't forget to subscribe that is how we grow our community and it motivates us to produce even more content today when we read application we tend to think about the global impact so uh, if your application support multiple languages let's say english and french you can configure your backend application to be aware of this when you we talk about the headless cms it is an environment that provides you the backend part and you have to create a front end as i said before we like the fact that for the headless cms most of the time they are open source so you have the source code of strapi accessible on github you can just go ahead and try to look at it and to see what is being performed behind to make sure that it actually complies with what you want to do with your application. One of the greatest reasons that I see you should adopt Stripe is the fact that it's a JavaScript environment, a JavaScript CMS that has been built on top of one of the most used programming languages right now. I, you know what we used to say, almost all developers are JavaScript developers. And Strapi has a vibrant community around. Only on GitHub, if I do remember clearly, 
they have close to 60,000 stars in the Discord community. They have uh, more than 20,000 people and they are very active over there. If you have a question, you want to follow the update uh, around, you're surely going to, to be satisfied if you join the, the Discord community uh, server as I did myself. When we talk about the headless part of Strapi, it is to put a clear difference between the common CMS that we have been used before, like WordPress, Wix, Joomla, and so on. They most of the time provide the front end part for your end users and the back end administration panel. But Strapi only provides the back end administration panel. But for sure, it doesn't mean you can't perform great things with Strapi because Strapi is very extensible. It also has a plugin a system, has most of the CMS. You can even reuse the plugins created by third parties in order to add more features to your Strapi uh, administration or your Strapi backend. And for me, it is a game changer. You can even go ahead and customize your controllers, customize your services, and customize your media ways for the security part. While in 2024, you are going to create an application without having at least the core part in place, the usual features that most of the application used to have. I'm sure you are going to like it. So the common use cases of Strapi, if you access the, the website, you will see it. Uh, Strapi is being used to create uh, e-commerce application, corporate websites, mobile application. But for me, you can do more than that because you can simply use it as a core layer and then you can bring great things on top. As part of this video, we are going to create a simple backend application for a blogging system. It's going to have users management, uh, blog post management and comments management. But most of the time when we create a blogging system you prefer to use an external comments management system like uh, discourse for example you simply uh, add a few scripts in your front-end application and it's going to have uh, the comment directly managed by another third party your users are simply going to log themselves in by using social media accounts like facebook google twitter and so on to comment uh, down to your post but just for illustration we are going to add a comment part directly in um, our models. So let's start it.